Hello, and welcome back to How Does It Work? You know, I've been thinking, here at Stena, we don't only have ferries, we also have big tankers. And these tankers, they transport, you know, 50,000 up to 100,000 tons of oil. That's a large amount of liquids. So the question is, how these large amount of liquids, shouldn't they have a great impact on the stability of these ships? Hmm? I have, I have no idea how this works. Should we ask Lily? Huh? Lily? Hello, Sigurd. Hello. Uh, I'm hearing that you're having some questions uh, about the impact of free surfaces of liquids. I suppose I am. Yes. So we can start uh, with an experiment. So could you kindly carry this uh, baking tray with water for me? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa. You can you can walk a little bit with it. I, I'm trying. So, hmm, how should we do this? I think I need some duct tape. Oh, thank you. Now we have divided the baking tray into two pots. Hmm? So now we have two compartments, the same amount of water. The only difference is that it's divided. So, Sigurd, can you please help me carrying it again? Okay. How do you feel? Wow! This was, this was much easier. Now we have reduced the impact of the free surfaces of liquids. Let's reduce it further. Now we're going to put the water into these glasses instead. Okay. So, Sigurd, now we have uh, four smaller compartments, still the same amount of liquid. Yes. So, uh, could you kindly carry this for me now? Of course. How wow. does it feel? It's great. I can do this all day. Huh? Look. Wow. You know, so in conclusion, if you want to reduce the impacts of large amounts of liquid, all you have to do is reduce the free surface areas of the liquid. Huh? It's really quite simple. Yes, and this is called the second moment of area of the fluid free surface. And we calculate it like this. You see, here is a ship and here is a tank. Uh, this could be like the baking tray we had earlier. This is called H and this is called B. So you see here, Sigurd, that I is B times H cubed divided by 12. When we divide H, so we have it reduced by factor 2. And listen, you see, you see that we have it instead because of the cubic, it is the factor 8 instead. So by reducing. We hope you've enjoyed this episode two, and we're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Fascinating.